So guys, like last episode where I talked a little bit about the cameras and um, books that I find on flea markets, this episode I want to talk a little bit about uh, my film stash that I also find on flea markets and platforms like uh, eBay. Uh, one thing I also want to talk about is uh, how much should you pay for film, um, expired film uh, on flea markets. Um, in my opinion, you shouldn't pay much because you, you never know what you can expect from these rolls, how they were stored. Uh, often you don't know um, uh, even the expiration date, even what film is inside. Um, and that's something too many variables that uh, can cost you a lot of money if you spend a lot of money in expired film. Usually I don't go over uh, two euros per roll. Uh, and that's even when, when it's just one film, one roll. If I buy like uh, 10 or 20 rolls, um, I usually go maximum one, one and a half euros per roll and um, that's it. Um, when you really are sure that the film was uh, kept in, um, in a freezer or something like that, then maybe you can go a little bit higher, but usually I don't go over uh, that when I don't know the origin uh, of, the, um, of the film. So guys, what do I have in my personal collection? Um, I have some really interesting stuff. Um, which I like to display here. Uh, but here it's also not um, everything like the rarest. It's also, I like a lot the design of the boxes. I actually keep, I collect the boxes um, uh, after I shoot the film. I collect the boxes. I have a bag full of um, open boxes. And on the other episodes, you can actually always see on the main image from the episode, there's always the box which I, I, I scan and then I use to, to to show people what is what is the film that I'm shooting. Um, so uh, starting from left to right, I have this uh, Il4 color HR100. Yes, this is Il4. Yes, this is color. Um, Il4 used to have in the past a department for color film. Um, this one is expired in November 1990. Um, 36 exposures. Um, so the next one is a uh, Kodachrome 64, probably the best loved film ever to be produced. Maybe only rivaled by a Kodak Triax 400. This one is expired in September 1982. And yeah, the box is uh, in a very good condition. I will not shoot this. Um, I know that there is a guy that develops it in black and white and I even heard that he can also do it in color. Um, maybe in the future, I also think that um, the guy that I usually work with, um, Focus AG, the lab that I, that I usually um, work with, he also told me that he can also develop Kodachrome or he's trying to develop Kodachrome. I'm not exactly 100% sure of the conversation I had with him. If this is the case, I will definitely use one of these uh, roles of Kodachrome uh, on the other episodes where I test the film. Um, another thing I have here, it's a Kodak Plus X Pan expired in October 1972 and a roll of uh, Kodachrome 2. Um, this is ISO 25 and was expired in 1971. I don't shoot medium format, but I have some rolls. I, I, I have some rolls. In this case, it's um, Akfa Isopan ESS, expired in uh, July 1976 and also 120 Kodak Panatomic X expired in August uh, 1973. Um, I don't have a camera, uh, a medium format camera, that's why I don't shoot medium format film. Um, yes, I do plan in the future to buy a medium format camera, but it's not in my immediate, um, immediate plans. I'm pretty sure you can get awesome results and I also have a nice stash of 120 film. Not huge, but, but nice. I have some cool stuff in there. Um, now some of freaks, some of the freak things I have, um, starting with this one. I don't know exactly what this is. So guys, if you know, uh, I will open it and show it to you. And if you can recognize this film, uh, I would appreciate that you leave um, 
a comment on, uh, on, uh, on the comment section below with your opinion. Uh, I bought this in the Leica um, flea market here in Vienna this year. It's um, black and it, it doesn't have a brand. Uh, I believe this is bulk film and uh, the label just says black and white film or 25 or tochromatic ISO uh, 25 um, 36 exposures and developed before December 2011. Um, this is a bluish film and I believe that this is roll eye um, or 25 uh, orthochromatic film. I'm not exactly sure. So guys, if you have shot this film before, please uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, if it is like that film. Um, this is Kodak also, Kodak Plus X. Uh, this, is a, this is from bulk film and uh, I have no idea when was it expired. I have no idea the storage conditions. I am not even sure if this is um, Plus X film. Um, I believe so. At least the, the cartridge is uh, Pan X film, but I am not sure the person who, who, who sold it uh, had no idea. They just had it around at home and uh, were trying to get rid of it. Another freak thing I have, it's this. I have never seen this. There is something inside. I'm not sure what. I believe that this is film. It says uh, on the can, uh, open in the dark room, ill forward refill. I believe that this is, this is um, FP4. This is just the film, uh, 36 exposures probably, and it's meant to to then roll into the cartridges. Uh, I have never done it. I have never opened it. I hope no one has done it before, that no one opened the, cart, uh, the can. Uh, I actually put a little bit of tape around it that I don't open it by mistake or anyone does it also by mistake. I also like to collect uh, what I call the beautiful boxes, as I said. Uh, I really like the design of this film, the 3M, both the color print and the slide film. I think just the colors go very well. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, one of my favorite boxes, it's the Cosmo. I don't have any. I never bought, I never tried. I just saw it um, a few times and I really enjoyed the um, the the design they use on their Cosmo with their Cosmonaut and uh, yeah definitely in the future I'll buy some uh, and I'll try it but um, yeah that's that they still has to come. I also really enjoyed these uh, roll eye boxes. This is fresh film that I bought in Berlin. Um, yeah it's really really interesting for me and um, yeah, guys, so as I said, don't uh, spend too much money on expired film. It, it, it definitely worses to buy and shoot it, but keep in mind that uh, the film might not work. The storage conditions have a huge impact on the, on the, um, on the film. Uh, heat will destroy your film. It only happened to me one time, but I have had a, a roll of a slide, a Fuji slide, um, that had no images, it was totally destroyed. Um, nothing could be recovered from it. So um, yeah, when you understand the, the problems, the benefits and what you should do, uh, you should definitely shoot it. Don't overspend on it. I never go over two euros per roll. Um, and when I buy huge quantities, I usually tend to not go over one euro. If you, if you buy 20 rolls, and you don't, if you don't know the origin, if you don't know if they were properly, pro properly stored and you're spending like two, three, four euros, like if you buy 20 rolls at four euros each, that's 80 euros. Um, that's a lot of money. If the film then is destroyed, then it's uh, just lost money. Uh, yes, you can also argue it can be also very good uh, results. It can, it can give very good results, but... Um, yeah, it also depends on you. If you feel you should buy it, then yeah, definitely buy it. If you should, if you think not, then just don't. Um, that's that's my prices. One, two euros, uh, depending on what I'm buying. Uh, that's my level. So guys, 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe the channel, support the channel, uh, and don't, act, don't forget to activate the, the bell so you can receive a notification every time uh, we upload a new episode. So until the next episode.